Hello, my darlings, and welcome back to Henford on Bagley. We are in the Bramblewood area once again today, back at Haddon Hall for the final ever time. Last time we furnished up Lady Hillary's bedroom, the art studio on the upper floor, including the outside balcony area, and also the antique vault. Today, we're going to be cracking on with both of the teenage boys' bedrooms. And I'll also show you the two bedrooms that I furnished off of camera. So let's get into game and finish Haddon Hall. Happy Tuesday, everybody. Welcome back once again to Haddon Hall for a start. But also, let's build the world. And here we are for the final time. I'm looking forward to moving on to the next lot. I really am, but I've had so much fun building Haddon Hall. I really have. So this is going to be up in the gallery as soon as this is out on YouTube. So you guys can go and enjoy Haddon Hall for yourselves. Um, what are we doing today? Well, you already know. I've already told you. We've got two bedrooms to furnish today. I don't... I think I'm going to put Arthur in this room here. And I think I'm going to give Alistair a bit more of the smaller bedroom just because they're going to have a little bit of conflicting styles. Alistair is a little bit more studious. I see a few more like desks and bookcases and stuff being in this room compared to what Alistair's like. Alistair likes to be outside, so he's not really in his bedroom all that often. I wouldn't say it would be a messy room because obviously they've got a butler. The butler would obviously be and maids. They're going to be cleaning up. But I would say it would definitely look a little bit more rustic, shall we say, with not just the furniture choices but just things in the room a few more plants and stuff compared to the rest of the house i want his bedroom to stand out a little bit compared to the others now i did go ahead and furnish elizabeth's room here so this was her old bedroom as i said she's moved back from university to kind of be here for the family and um, so i've kind of made that look apparent with all of these boxes and stuff and cases with her clothes and things i would imagine but she still is at university so she is kind of commuting every day and very much doesn't like commuting every day um from the house to the train station and to university that's what's in my head so i don't really see this room being made up all of that much so i'm just going to keep it as it is i think that plays a nice part in the storyline and then you lovely, wonderful humans had a wonderful idea about making this into the late Lord Arthur's bedroom. Because if you remember, Arthur and Hilary were not getting along towards the end, really. And it's not just that. They were just kind of at a stalemate. You know, they, their relationship was just not close anymore. And they decided to sleep in separate bedrooms because of Arthur's snoring. But also they just like their own space. So I've made a nice bedroom here for the late lord arthur but this would probably get used as a guest bedroom if there's then anyone over coming to stay now so that is you caught up on what we're going to be doing today so let's make a start and i think we're going to make a start into arthur's bedroom itself and so here we are we're going to go for this bed which is the most expensive bed in the game Twelve thousand simoleons you can see we've got a bit less money now because i've put a lot of money up in that vault up on the top level and um, so yeah, kind of plays a part in the storyline as well, doesn't it? That bed looks marvellous in here. I think it's going to work. The only thing that's not working is the size of this radiator in this room. Unless I could put that up against the window over here. <gasps> oh, that's a marvellous place to put it in. Yes, it is. But hello. Brand new week on the channel, my darlings. We're going to be starting on the Gnome's Arms pub tomorrow for Let's Build the Worlds. Um, I'm really looking forward to that lot. I just really wanted to get into a community lot rather than introducing some new characters just yet. Just so they've got like a hub to kind of meet and, you know, it, it make the center look a little bit more interesting in videos and stuff. So that's what I'm going to do. Yes, I am a date. So bed, I'm going to put in lo two lovely side tables now. I think we should go for something a little bit more elaborate like this for this room. Yes, we're going to use these base game ones and flop one on either side of the bed like this gorgeously gorgeously done yes it is indeed let's get some lovely lamps up as well maybe something again a little bit more classic in this room i might even try some of these actually i, I always remember the swatches being a bit naff though yeah those swatches are just not the one i'm gonna go for these ones lock these ones up here from is it the full rent pack i think it is yeah that's a little bit better very nice I'm definitely feeling an ottoman at the end of this bed as well. I might go for something a little bit different here compared to what we've used in the other bedrooms. I think I'll go for this one here in a little bit more of a classic tone. There we go. Beautiful. Flop you to there like that. 
I definitely see some kind of big desk area in here. I'm just thinking where could we put that? Would it be better if I put the desk over to this area here so I could get a wardrobe maybe here and a chest of drawers there? I think that's what we're going to do. Yes, wardrobe. Um, so let's do that. We're going to go for this one here. The same one's what we've used in his late father's bedroom. And I'm going to slip it into the side there like that. Yep, that's perfect. And then a nice chest of drawers as well. And I think we'll go for this one because that gold kind of blends in nicely with that one there too. Oh, I'm for that. Lovely jubbly. Yep, that's going to work out quite nicely. I was a bit worried about putting that there, but I think it's absolutely fine. They'll be able to get through anyway. Um, and it matches in with the room really nicely. This is going to be very much generic. No, not generic, but very much matching in with the theme that we've got going through the house already. So I am looking forward to starting on Alistair's room because it's just going to be a little bit different. And I'm looking forward to that. I really bloody am. Maybe this one. Is this going to cover a bit of the window? But I don't really mind that. Oh, I do like it. It is a little bit battered. Like sort of like oldie looking. But again, maybe that could be an antique kind of thing, you know? Yep. Yeah. I'm going to do it and we're going to put a nice desktop on top of here as well. I'm just going to go for this one because it's the most realistic-ish looking one. I just, I, I say this all the time, but I really hate all of the computers. I wish there was just some normal looking computers, especially like a nice gaming PC. That one doesn't count because it, I want a tower, a side tower with glowy lights in, please. Thank you. I think I'm going to give him this chair as well. That little chair over to there. And I might even... Because the, yeah, I'm going to move you along to here like that. So it's not directly in the center of the wall. Actually, no, I'm not going to do that. I moved it along and it looked very strange and I wasn't for it. No, I was not indeed. This is quite a big room. I don't know what else we could chuck in here to kind of fill up this space. But I think if we get some bookcases going over this way, I might even use the modular bookcases, actually. If I did like one here... And then went up one more on top. I will change the swatches of these. Do I want to connect it all the way through like this? Or do I want to just leave it? Let's have a little look. Eh, I don't really like those two. But I think we will leave the bookcases a little bit higher up on each side. And then we can get a nice picture for in the middle here. And why not go for some dogs playing Wake the Llama? You know? So that's what we're going to do. The Sims should release Wake the Llama as a bit of merch. I'm just saying. I think that would be an absolute touch, that would be. So we've got everything that I think that he's going to need in this room. Obviously, I still want to get some more decorations and stuff in. Maybe even like an armchair over here would be nice as well. Just a little chilled area for him, like to sit and read, maybe. But I kind of want his room to look a little bit more pristine anyway. So I'm going to pull out the final bits. Okay, just a few final flourishes of detail. What we're going to do is flop this little um, suitcase with books on top, on top of this dresser, but off to the side. Because next to it, what I would love to put is a cheeky little radio. Well, sorry, a record player, not a radio. Um, maybe he's into, I reckon he's into a bit of classical. So maybe he does play an instrument. I would, with this family, I would say violin. I think he's going to be a violinist. So I'm going to give him an expensive violin and put it over there by the by the side there. But what I also was thinking about doing was adding in some kind of mirror. Oh, I could put the mirror here, actually. Yeah. OK, I've decided. I have decided that's where I'm going to be putting the mirror. I'm also going to be bringing this little chest that I want to put somewhere as well. Now, that was in that spot there. But now I thought about putting a mirror there. It's not really going to work. So I think what I'm going to do put it off to the side of the bed and put it just next to the ottoman there like that yes maybe full of his school stuff bits like that you can imagine um rug i have sized this rug up slightly and i thought having it kind of like off to the side here would be the best way or even down there because what i want to do is use this chair i've swapped out the desk chair and i'm going to use this one from the um crystal creation pack i think that looks very nice there actually i don't like where that rug is though i think it needs to be up there instead yeah that's better little reading area as i said so i'm gonna put that one down there and then i'm gonna put a little lamp just next to it like this beautiful and that kind of lights up that desk as well then um, and i'm gonna put up some study books 
up onto the side here too which i just think just tells a little bit of the story i've also changed the swatches as well to the book so they don't look too copied but i'm kind of happy with this room it's as bland as i want it to be <laughs> For storyline purposes, I'm trying to be very realistic here. Or as realistic as we can be. Um, I mean, I would have loved to get some sconces in. What about if I just move these across one each side? That will give me enough room to put in just a couple of sconces on either side of that painting. Which I think is going to work out quite lovely, actually. Oh, are they up different heights? They are, aren't they? You need to come up a little bit more, my love. There we go, that will do. Beautiful. Oh, I'm for that. I really am. Yeah, that's it. That is Arthur's room all figured out and done. And I think that just shows a bit of his personality. Very studious, very tidy, I would say. Um, And in keeping with the rest of the family. Whereas with Alistair, we're going to go a bit off on the, the beaten tracks here. So I think what I want to do is get a feel for things in here first. So I want to pull out a few objects and we'll start furnishing it up. First off, I think we should use this. This four poster. So it's still kind of fitting in with the very sort of opulent sort of vibes being a four poster. But it is a little bit more, I don't know. I think it suits him quite nicely. Uh, let me just have a look at the other swatches just to sort of see. I mean, that one was perfect. But, oh, actually, that one's even more perfect. We'll go for this one. Because <laughs> it's still fitting in with the theming of the, the colour tones that we've used all through this house. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> I'm going to go with that. Yeah. We're going to go for this one. Little work end table, I think. Yes, I like that. Let's put you off at a bit of an angle because you are on wheels. Yeah, lovely. Yes. And then I do think some kind of lovely lantern on here would suit him. So, oh, maybe even like this one. Yes. Something like this. I reckon he's a bit of an adventurer, isn't he? Did I do two then? I did. Go away. Go away. There we are. Um, I think he's a bit of an adventurer, so he's always out. Maybe he takes this with him on his, like, all-nighters. Did anybody else used to sneak pretend, sit, and tell your parents you were staying somewhere? What is that? Is that another lantern in the wall there? It is. <laughs> tell your parents you were staying somewhere and used to go out on all-nighters with your friends. Oh, how naughty. But I did used to do that. I very much used to do that. And I absolutely loved doing that as well. Yeah, that's cute. Okay, well, I see him. I definitely see him a bit in, being a bit of a reader. Like, he likes to learn about the world and stuff. But I think some kind of, like, sofa on this area here would be perfect for Alistair. So, I'm going to grab one. Maybe even stick him with the same sort of, like, theme when we've gone with the bed. Could be kind of cute. And what I'll do is tilt it, tilt it off at an angle. Give him the same kind of matching tones as the bed. And then put a lamp behind it. Yes, and then some kind again, some kind of lantern. I'm feeling lantern vibes from him, and I don't know why, but lantern. I'm going to use this one here, and I reckon he's made this himself. Out of some, like, driftwood and stuff. Yep, I'm feeling that vibe. I mean, it doesn't really work in here because it's got no base to it. It just sticks right in the floor. It's supposed to go outside, but we're putting it in here anyway. Yeah, I'm into that. Very much into that kind of vibe there. Lovely. He does need a wardrobe, but I don't reckon he's that fussed on clothes and stuff too much. He wears the same thing every day, but he's still going to need somewhere to put his clothing, you know. So I might even use the same kind of style as what we've used in Elizabeth's room and go for something like this. Yeah, we'll do that. I'm going to flop you to there. Just like this. And I think a nice armchair in the corner here. And we'll maybe go for something like this. Oh, yeah, that works in here. Let's flop you down to there. I'm going to put a side table next to this as well. With another lantern on. I know. Oh, actually, I'm going to use this one. Where are you, you little shit? There you are. I'm going to flop you to there. And maybe use this lantern. If it will go up there nicely. Hope it will. And it was kind of... Oh, do you know what? That'd be fine. Yeah. Something like that. Let's change the colour of that, though. Not you. Oh, yes, I'm feeling it. I still reckon we could get a desk in here as well. Maybe even just like one of the single desks. Oh, pop one popped in my head right away then. And it is this one here. <gasps> oh no, not the colorways. Will you be okay in here? Yeah, you're fine. Let's get this one in. And I reckon we can put all of his books on top of the fireplace itself. 
I do like that. And I think that chair would work with this as well. I'm going to use the same chair as what we've done there. Maybe give him a laptop because he likes to be outside. So maybe he takes his laptop with him if he's got homework or something. Um, he's a, Let's give him a better one than that. They are loaded after all. So let's give him that one. And I'm going to darken down the color to this. There we go. Maybe he's a little bit of a gamer. Maybe not. I don't see that for Arthur anyway, but I don't know. Maybe, maybe not. And then for rugs, I kind of want to use two overlapping rugs. I think we should go for the ones that look a little bit uh, kind of like war worn down. I mean, that one works in here, but have I used that anywhere else? I don't think I have actually. No. Okay, well, we're going to use that one. I am going to size it up though. I'm going to do a little... 1.3, I think. Yep, that's beautiful. And I'm going to flop you down and tilt you by the bed like that. And then I am going to use another one. And maybe just put it over on this side here in a little bit small, a little bit smaller. Yeah, cute. I did forget to put a mirror there, though, didn't I? Honestly, Aiden, you need to get your shit together, darling. I'm going to flop a mirror there. Nice. And I don't think I'm going to do one in here. No, this is nice. I like how this is looking. I very much do. I think, as I said, what we need to do here, though, oh, is add some books on top of here. So if I could make a few little plants as well. Can I change the color of this? Yeah, let's go a little bit darker like that. And then let's get one with like two bookends as well, just on the edge. Yeah, that's nice. Yeah. And again, as I said, he doesn't really spend a lot of time in here. So I'm not going to put anything that will keep him in here for too long. He likes to be outside. But I would definitely like to litter the place in plants. So let's start off with a big fig tree. I might even put that behind the sofa itself, actually. If I can manoeuvre you into here. Pop you there like that. Oh, yep, yeah, that's lovely. We'll do a little propagation station. I think I'm going to put it right down by the window. Let's go for a little ceiling number as well. Right by the window, I think would look lovely. I can just pop you there. Oh, yeah, that's nice. I like that. And I reckon I could get one in here, but I want that little skinny number, this one. From um, Get to Work, if I can get you in there. Oh, I'm into that. I very much am. Yeah. And we'll keep all the plants over towards the window as well, because there's no point putting them around here. Because um, this is quite a dark room, to be honest. So I think actually what I'm going to do, just to finish off the little spaces on those walls, is just put up two little sconces, just to bring a little bit of light into this area. Are they a bit low? No, I think they're fine. Are they? No, they're a bit low. <laughs> I'd peek through either side then. Just like that. Yeah. No, I'm into it. That feels like uh, Alistair to me. Gorgeous, gorgeous things. I also put in a chess table here because a couple of you said, why don't we have like a little chess table in this house? And I kind of forgot about the chess table, to be honest with you. And I've popped one in now. My loves, we are done with Haddon Hall. We are completely done with Haddon Hall. It is all furnished and ready to go. Um, and as I said, with these, with this series of Let's Build the Worlds, I am going to be doing video tours at the end of each of the builds that we have completed. Um, just to get a better feel for things. And you might even pick up some stuff that is in the video tour. That's all I'm going to say. That is all I'm going to say. But I've had such a lovely time these past few weeks of furnishing and getting Haddon Hall built for the save file. I'm very much excited for it. Um, to continue onwards. Yes, I am. And as I said, we will be continuing onwards with it tomorrow with the Gnome's Arms, the main pub in the town. So that is what we're cracking on with tomorrow. I've got some lovely ideas. I've got a few reference images that I want to try and make come across in The Sims. So that's what it's going to be. It really is. Anyway, I'm going to leave you now and you are going to go and watch a lovely video tour of Haddon Hall. I'll see you all tomorrow. <laughs>